Well, here we go. The first official road trip on my. At first, I thought I was going to be talking about some, well, not so happy stuff as things have gone a little bit shitty in my life. And, uh, and actually, even as I was leaving, I thought I would be doing it, but eh, who wants to hear a soft story, especially on a great day like this? I decided to pass some time rather than talk about my helmet, since a lot of people have been asking about it. The AGV AX9, how is it? It's actually a perfect day to talk about this helmet, because it's really, really windy. And normally I wouldn't ride them um, on the motorways, well, these kinds of roads, at higher speeds with the beacon on, because it literally becomes a pain in the neck. Real fast, but I just want to test it out how bad it's going to be. And it also helps with the sun, which is, well, too dominant today. Blind corner, a little bit stupid, but Ooh, it's a more cross track. Oh wow! See, it's actually fine running with this helmet when you're looking ahead. Anytime you turn the head, it's just gonna try to twist around your head. I mean, the fit might not even be super perfect for my head, but it's the best one I could find. And it is comfortable in this helmet, even after I want to say around like six or seven thousand kilometers. I've had this lid for about a year now, a little over a year. And everything is still functioning as it was supposed to function. So that's good. So it's a good quality. So, <laughs> Woo! so it's a good quality lid, uh, definitely. Ah, false neutral. Man, it is quite fast. Of course, your experience with this helmet might be slightly different because I have kitted it out with uh, a lot of stuff. Starting with the Mohawk, the GoPro, obviously, for which I had to remove the chin vents. So it's basically open all the time. When it gets really rainy, I just cover it with tape. And uh, the communication device. There are a couple of mild nuisances with this helmet. Uh, for one, I would prefer to have some other kind of fastening mechanism than the D-ring. It is, uh, on a daily basis, a little bit annoying, but, but I guess uh, there's a reason for that. There's absolutely nothing to go wrong with a D-ring. Yeah, tire speeds, if you just point the peak down a little bit, it helps a great deal. Quick shifter is a dream passing cars. And another, again, might be annoying thing about this helmet is that the visor doesn't really open up all that high. Even in the upright position, you can still see quite a lot of it. What else might you be interested in regarding this helmet? You know, if I do forget something, then just write down in the comments and I will answer them. Now, another thing you might wonder is how does this helmet work with goggles? And, well, I really haven't ridden too much with these goggles. With the goggles. But uh, the couple of times I've tried is that they actually work really well with this helmet. I mean, you can actually close the visor when you have goggles on. And uh, somehow they felt quite well inside here, but uh, too bad my head. Well, mainly my glasses don't go well with the goggles. And for riding in the city, you can open up the lid a little bit. Like this is completely closed and now I open it a little bit to get a bit more wind in my helmet. Oh, well, that's a bit different. <laughs> Bump here. <laughs> and I'm, maybe I should talk a little bit what has gone awry in my life. What has gone to shit? I lost my job. It's the worst thing that could happen during the time like this. I mean, with the baby around and everything. I work as a sound designer in a sound studio, making sounds for well, commercials, TV shows, whatnot. And um, well, 
work just has dried up and the company just can't afford to have me anymore so I was fired and I know I probably will find something eventually but that's the thing here's a job that I've perfected for 10 years and now I basically can't do it anymore because they're in this small country there aren't too many studios and so basically that means I'm gonna have to find a new job I mean a new profession not just a job thing is I wish I could say that I saw it coming but I didn't it was a complete surprise for me and I'm still trying to gather my thoughts and uh, and that's actually what I'm gonna be doing over the summer mostly just taking the time off to figure out what the fuck to do now I mean besides ride the motorcycle obviously <laughs> and uh, about that it actually might end up affecting my motorcycle life as well Right now, I do own a motorcycle that costs a lot. I mean, I've paid for it, but if need be, I might uh, get a cheaper motorcycle, that is. But I'll survive. I'm a smart guy. I'll figure this shit out. Hey, I remember you. How you doing? Woo, finally some bends. This is fun! Is, uh, well, <laughs> I have a mic right in front of my mouth and uh, it's pushing actually against my mouth with the wind so that means my head is really long and oval so the helmet is uh, well it being an intermediate oval it's not oval enough for my head I can feel the helmet on my nose as well. This is narrow. That was definitely fun. Woo. Let's settle back into a cruise. Okay, water drain. 